Fort William area is said to have it all for the outdoor enthusiast. It's got the UK's biggest mountain, one of the world's toughest downhill tracks with the gondola, but we definitely won't be needing that. It has white sand beaches, turquoise seas, limitless single track, and of course, more whiskey. But what's it like to get away from this beaten track in what's regarded as probably the off-road capital of the UK? What's it like to go freestyle with no idea and no plan of what's out there? Now as a typical summer holiday, there's a lot of things I want to tick off the list. Scenery, sessioning, sand, sea, snacks, and of course, a bit of sociability too. But can I cram that all into one day? Possibly, but I don't think there's any rush. I got an amazing view, just like this. In yesterday's video, we saw how Steve took on a massive mountain adventure. It was pre-planned, having done a huge amount of research, thinking about battery levels, route difficulties, navigation, recharging, spare batteries. No, that's not for everyone. What we're saying here is that e-mountain bikes give the option for extreme riding, the kind of riding that would simply be out of reach for non-assist bikes, and incredible physical experiences at the same time. But these bikes will allow you to do something completely different. What we're trying to do today is something on the opposite end of the scale to what Steve did yesterday, way up in the hills over there. But I just want to get a taste of that mountain feel and not experience the blood, the sweat and the tears. Nor do I. So I have very little information about today's ride. I don't really know where I'm going. All I know is that it's gonna kick off today here from Malig Harbour. And I'm gonna be doing it on this cube stereo, which has been provided to us by Bosch to explore a bit of off the cuff riding. It's a little change that I've made to this bike after Steve has had it. He had the Keox unit on there, which is a nice low profile unit but I've swapped it out for the Nyon. Now the Nyon has a huge display on it and it gives a wealth of information right in your face in the middle of the handlebars. Perfect for exploring. Okay, so let's use it and try and find a cup of tea here in Malig. So T-E-A, go. Just search in a second. What have we got? Oh, the Tea Garden Cafe, perfect. I'm just going to plan. Oh, and it looks like it's just one minute away, perfect. That's the fastest route. Let's go. Okay, so let's try and find this cup of tea. So it's saying it's not too far away at all. Okay, so the computer's saying we are just 50 meters away from the tea garden. Destination reached. And there it is up on the left the tea garden. So let's put my bike aside and go grab our first cup of tea. Okay, we've had a little discussion about which coffee shop to go to here in Malek, and it's come up with this one as being one of the stops you need to stop at. And of course, every great British ride starts off with a cup of tea and of course scones or scones, depending on where you're from. Milk, Brandon? Yes, please. Good company, aren't you?
My Nyan display has given me options of how to get to the places that are on my hit list for today. I can go with a dirty mountain bike route, or I can keep my clothes clean and take a more surface route to the destination. In fact, there are three options. I can choose the fastest route as well. Right, nice one, have a good ride back anyway, won't you? And cheers for that, I'll see you soon, yeah? Okay, so that's the tea stop done. Um, and I've just been able to locate my next stop, which is the beach, which looks about 8K away. And another plus about taking the nine unit off is that actually without this unit on the bike, you can't turn on or off the system whilst you're in the cafe. in Malig I typed in local beaches and it's come up with this absolutely stunning spot now this is the beach of the film the local hero I don't know about local hero to me this looks like it could be like in the Caribbean or something but one thing I do know that this beach is definitely prime for it's going to be a bit of sunbathing let's get the beach towel out yeah so today's ride isn't going to be the most technical in fact I think the most technical thing it's probably going to be trying to locate where that sun's going to be, where I put my beach towel out to catch a few rays. I mean, isn't this spot absolutely stunning? We've got the Isle of Rum over there, the Isle of Sky. All I need is a bit of sun. Now, summer holiday wouldn't be complete without a selfie stick from 1995 and of course a dip in the ocean. So let's just dip the feet and see how cold this is. Ah, actually, it's pretty refreshing. Just have to ride into the beach, cool my ankles down a little bit. A bit of a dip in here. Whew, it's freezing. Oh, you can go further than that. <laughs> I can't, I don't want to get my pants wet. Right, so that's the sun, sea and sand ticked off the list and a bonus little dip in the ocean, which was nice and refreshing too. But I looked on the Nyan and I see that the Harry Potter train actually crosses my route. So I'm gonna stop off there, get some pics of the kids and earn some more bonus points. So let's get cracking. Okay, so from the beach, we wanna be heading to Glen Finnan as this is where the Harry Potter actual train crosses. So if I enter this into the Nyan, one more, oh Glen Finnan, viaduct trail. So this is gonna be the actual viaduct where the train crosses in that epic shot that you see in Harry Potter. So enter that in, right click start, and it is saying this way along the beach. Let's go. So on route to Fort William, I checked in on some points of interest and I actually flagged up this. This is the Glen Finnan Viaduct. It's a famous uh, movie scene from Harry Potter, actually. We had Harry Potter flying over this bridge in a Ford Anglia whilst a train went underneath him. So that train is set to be here in just a few minutes and I'm gonna earn a load of brownie points with the kids if I get a few pictures of this to take back later on. So let's wait for this.
Wow, that's super exciting to see that in person. I can't believe I'm actually here. And that's the cool thing about this unit is that you can actually plan in these points of interest along the way and visit them because I was simply a ridden past this, but to see that was simply mind blowing. Anyway, next stop, I'm thinking a waterfall. So let's search for a waterfall. Um, that looks pretty cool. And checking in on battery, looks like we're gonna need to swap that battery out as well. So fresh battery and a fresh trail. Let's get going. I can also customize the screen on my Nyan for whatever mood I'm in. This means I can select the data that I want to see, be it speed, range, watts, heart rate, and I'm never worried about weather as it's fully up for all conditions. There are some incredible mountain biking locations around the world. You can turn up, get a cup of tea, ride a waymarked route, and when you get back, a bacon sandwich and a latte awaits. Such places are fully geared up to make your experience as simple and as easy as possible. And at the same time, that takes some of the fun out of the adventure. If it's all pre-planned, the trails are gonna have their own flow and the menu at the cafe, well, that's as regular as the clientele. Sometimes it's great just to break loose and disconnect from the familiar. And that's increasingly why we are seeing e-mountain bikes used for just exploring, because they allow you to just wander. But crucially, they remove the fear of getting it wrong. For example, if you're heading over a mountain, and the view wasn't as you were expecting. It isn't a waste of time. That got me thinking, these waterfalls better be good. Wow, here she is, Steel Falls. Pretty amazing to be honest. Trickling down that mountain, pretty epic, but I don't feel like I'm quite in the waterfall zone at the minute. I think I want to try and get a bit closer. There's a wire bridge over the river, but my skills aren't quite Danny Mac. So I'm thinking we go through the river and see if we can get a bit closer to that base. I want to see Brandon doing the Timothy advert in the bottom. You up for that? I'm only just beginning to understand just how versatile and helpful this display really is. What an amazing day. So today's ride isn't the most technical ride, but the machine I'm riding for it certainly is. This is a really sophisticated bike. 12 speed gearing on it, 170mm travel fork up front, seat post dropper, the list literally goes on. But what powers this bike is a 625 watt hour battery, which is allowing me to smash all these miles out today. And of course, power on this bike along is that Bosch motor, 85 newton meters of torque, and it's got that turbo mode and that really cool EMTB mode, which essentially is an automatic mode, which adjusts that power as to how hard you're pushing on those cranks. So last thing on my list after the sun, the sea, the food, the scenery, is of course the sessioning. Now I found this cool spot using an app and using nylon to actually get myself to the trailhead. But of course I'm still a bit in my holiday gear, so I'm gonna take it easy, but enjoy some of these trails before my final stop at Fort William. Okay, so it looks like the trail Brown Bear drops in somewhere on my left just here. 
which looks like the trailhead. And I think, because that rain's coming in, I'm just gonna do one run down here. I had planned on doing quite a few, but I've been going since the crack of dawn and it is now 7 p.m. I need to get into town because that fish and chips is definitely calling. As much as your display can easily lead you to those places you've never been to before, it's important to understand that mountainous terrain does bring with it unexpected weather and surfaces. Not so much an issue with my scout around the summits and seashores today, but Steve trips, well, that was a very different proposition. Oh. Wow. So there we go, that's a bit of trail action ticked off the list. But I was a little bit disappointed. I thought this trail spot was gonna be pretty prime, but to be honest, I didn't think these trails have been ridden that much. But still, a fresh new trail is a fresh new trail. But my tummy is definitely rumbling here. We haven't got a lot of battery left. I really want this fish and chip, so let's search on here. Fish and chips. Ah, oh, not too far. Back down from the fire road, let's go. There you go, what a ride, what a day. And you know what? I can even share all the data from today's adventure with my friends and family. <laughs> I might even send it to Steve. Looks like he might need an easier day. Wow, what an end to an absolutely amazing day. You know, I think I've ticked everything off the list that I wanted to do this morning on my uh, summer holiday style ride. I mean, we've had the sun, the sand, the sea, the session in, and of course the amazing scenery too. And to top it off, ending it, eating fish and chips on the seafront down here in Fort William in a bit of rain. It doesn't get more British than that, I can assure you. And I think it just goes to show that you can do loads of different riding on these bikes. I mean, Steve yesterday did a big epic ride up in the mountains using that slimline Kiox unit, which is a lot more compact than the Nyon unit. But for today's adventure, I've been using the Nyon. It's gave me a load of information on my handlebars and literally guided me through my whole adventure. And I think together it shows that you can either dip your toes in literally like I did or go full on like Steve did yesterday. But let us know down in the comments box about what type of riding you're into, those big days out, or you're into a little bit of exploring and a little bit of everything on your e-mountain bike. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and we shall catch you in the next video. I'm gonna tuck into these chips. They're getting soggy. They're getting pretty soggy, mine. <laughs>